What's going on everybody? It's Cool Fury. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. 100 with Cool Fury, man. So, I'm making this video because we gotta have this talk, man. We gotta have some real talk, right? So, I was going through YouTube the other day and just trying to catch up on some comments that I haven't had a chance to uh, respond to and things of that nature. You know, I like to try to respond to comments and just keep up with um, the people that are helping to support the channel because, you know, I really appreciate that. So I'm going through some of the comments and, you know, I always get some interesting comments in there. The first video that I made on this channel is a video called Why I Wear Fake Jewelry. And that video featured a gold-plated Cuban link chain from Amazon. You know, it was my first video on the channel. Um, this was last year. I was just sort of like starting to really try to get into jewelry. And I started out with stainless steel stuff. Now all I wear is uh, silver. But, you know, I, I started um, with stainless steel. And that video triggered a lot of people. Um, I got a lot of awesome comments on that video, but I also got a lot of um, disrespectful um, type of comments. So this particular comment that I saw recently, um, I can't remember exactly when the person made the comment on that video, but it was recently and they were basically saying how I referenced uh, having stocks and you know other types of investments in that video, but I was wearing a chain from Amazon. So somehow, you know, if I really had all that going on, then I wouldn't be wearing a chain from Amazon. Basically saying that, hey bro, if you really had it, you would be spending it. So you must be lying. So that person couldn't be further from the truth. Because here's the thing, just because you have it, doesn't mean you need to spend it. And in my humble opinion, if we're not already in a recession, a recession is definitely on its way. And it's time for a lot of people to tighten up. And honestly, even if you have it, if I, like this is not a financial channel and this isn't financial advice, I have to say that, but if I encourage you to do anything, man, um, let me encourage you to be very judicious when it comes to how you spend, you know, your money. Like don't just throw it out there just because, just because you have it. You know, learn the discipline of having it and choosing not to spend it. You know, this is something that wealthy people have been doing for generations. There's a lot of wealthy people that only spend like 30% of the money they make and the other 70% is put away. Some of it probably invested and whatnot, but develop good habits. You see what I'm saying? If I walk into my job tomorrow and they tell me, hey, you know, we're laying you off or we're letting you go, we're firing you. I'm not gonna freak out. I'm gonna take the rest of this week and probably all of next week and catch up on some rest, first of all. And then probably that following Monday, I'll get up and start sending my resume out. And the reason that I'm able to do that is because of financial responsibility is because I've learned how to have the money and not spend it. See, some people feel like you have to wear all your money on your body. You know, you have to drive all of your money. You know, I'm a guy who likes to wear affordable jewelry, which I show over and over again on this channel. I drive a used car and some people will see that and say, oh, he's broke. My thing is this, the car is used, it's a cash car, that means no payment. That means more money in my pocket. 
this silver jewelry I have on is affordable. I didn't break the bank. That means more money in my pocket. Some people want to have the clothes and the car and stuff, but have no money in their pocket. They want to look, look like they have something, but they really don't. I leave work every day and I get in my used 10 plus year old car and drive back here to this brand new house that I'm staying in because that's what my priorities are. A few years ago, when my wife and I bought our first home, she wanted to go right away and buy a nice four bedroom house and all that. I'm like, no, 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 no. We can start out in a three bedroom town home. A few years, we'll grow out of it. We're gonna sell it, we're gonna make some money. We're gonna take a portion of that money, we're gonna put it away. Take another portion of that money and use it to upgrade to a bigger space. And that's exactly what we've done. I've been in this house, or uh, we've been in this house since February of this year. That's where my priorities are. If I have some serious money tied up in something, it's probably gonna be my home and stuff like that. I got some crypto and some stocks and stuff, and I like to um, buy silver pieces like this when I get paid. This is an ounce of silver. Um, I like to buy a few of these when I get paid. I'm just going to keep stacking these. Um, you know, you don't have to be financially irresponsible just because of ridicule from other people. Like, don't let other people um, push you off track, you know. Keep your nose to the grind, plan financially, make sure you res um, survive this recession that we're coming into, and just stay the course. Don't let people take you off track. You know, if I felt like I had a lot to prove, I would get mad at a comment like that and try to come on here with some more expensive stuff to show that I really have it. No, I don't want to do that. As a matter of fact, I'd much rather be low key because I don't want to be a target. Because why? So that's just food for thought, man, this video. Um, like I said, I started out with some stainless steel stuff. Um, I wear silver now, but there's nothing wrong with stainless steel. If that's what you do, then do it. You know, if you like to wear gold jewelry, then wear gold jewelry. You want to wear silver like me, wear silver jewelry. But whatever you do, just make sure that it's you're, you're living within your means. Or heck, make sure you're living below your means so you have more money in your pocket. Don't break the bank on this stuff. At the end of the day, this jewelry and stuff like this, this is for looks. It's an accessory. You see what I'm saying? So don't mess up your finances because of accessories. You know, be be smart, be wise. Like I said, if we're if we're not already in the recession, it's definitely coming. And I, unfortunately, I feel like it's gonna get bad for a lot of people out there. So it's okay to shine. Just do it on the budget. If you care to do so, just do it on the budget. You don't always have to spend it just because you have it. That's that's the message for tonight. It's okay not to spend it even though you have it. You know, find something else to do with it. There's guys out there buying all this stuff and their cars need repairs. They're not living in that nice of a place. You know, get your priorities together. That's all I'm saying. So, if I don't encourage you to do anything else, let me encourage some fiscal responsibility. Where I'm from. Hey, 
Look, I'm from the mitten, sipping Verners in the kitchen. Bring a coat, bring a hat, just in case you wanna visit. Bring a bat, bring a gat, just in case you feeling skittish. In a place called Flint, it's best not to be the witness. We live how we live, never looking for forgiveness. Pop said, go to work, that'll keep you out of prison. So I stay up out the streets and try to focus on the business. Cause the kids who never listen, bodies get dumped in the ditches. A single slick remark can make the killer star tripping. Trade a couple months, trick a finger, start itching. Trunks get popped and the bullets start whizzing Pass your head to kill a kid, that's collateral for missing A child in a box is not an unfamiliar vision She dies with a bullet, shooter lives with his decision Sad way to prove the streets, no of no religion It's evil on the mission